Okay, so hi, in this language search video, I'll walk you through the first type of reading questions. That is true, false. And uh, as you know, the meaning of true is that the information agrees with the passage. And the meaning of false is that the information is at odds with the passage. So if you get uh, something in the same direction, you should mark it as true and vice versa for false. Let's read the instructions. Read the text and the statements. Some of these statements are true according to the text. Some of them are false, correct? Choose the correct answer, true or false for each statement. So here the information is quite direct in your face. You do not have anything that uh, defines true or false, but maybe on their website or somewhere else, they might have a detailed description of both of them, but uh, this is no rocket science and you are aiming for the C2 level. So we should actually be knowing the meanings by ourselves only. See, the language here is not very easy, though this uh, video can be useful for IELTS candidates also, but the information is quite indirect. So what I'll be doing is that I'll be doing, I'll be explaining to you one paragraph and then I'll make you do the first question and so forth. So let's see the first paragraph. He, kept, he picked up the plow handles and went on down the furrow. It needed a long while in the attic to wash out those words, but the power that was there washed them away in a while. I made allowance for Gideon, or maybe I do not know the pronunciation. Let's say Gideon. Since he lost many nights of rest, it being still lambing time, for lambing time is the shepherd's trial. So here, if we see there is some kind of disagreement that pertains to two persons and there has been a kind of fight between them. One is in the attic and the other is somewhere, maybe something of that sort. And it uh, pertains to the countryside where people are talking about a furrow. They are talking about uh, lambing period. Lambing is when we use uh, female sheep, give birth to offspring. So something of that sort, the scenarios of something, the scenarios of something of that sort. and the power of, but the power that was there washed them away in a while, um, wash out those words. So I made allowance. He lost many, uh, so many nights of rest. So it's about a gloomy scenario where two, I think village people are talking. Of course we cannot get the, as in I cannot get the complete essence of what the author is trying to convey, but what is required for the question, we can do that. And uh, let's see. The writer and Gideon had just had an unpleasant conversation. So yeah, if uh, words had washed them away or if there had been unpleasant nights or if there, ha if there had been unpleasant nights and all, of course, there had been something of a scuffle. There must have been something, uh, you know, that was unpleasant. So this is something true according to the passage. Okay, on a side note, I had gotten a 47 on 50 in the real test, in the reading part. So you can trust me on what I'm teaching. Not teaching, but uh, sharing. Okay, GDN was taken to court over a lambing issue. So by this word trial, you might think that there has been a court scenario or something, but it's not something very direct here. It's more about uh, the court of life, I would say, where you deal with your real situations and it's not about a lawsuit or anything. So Gideon was taken to, Gideon was taken to court over a lambing issue, no. It might be that she's talking about, um, it's a trial in life when you have to take care of the sheep or something and uh, that trial is something that uh, is as difficult as the trial that you face in court or somewhere so it's more metaphorical than real or maybe literal so it's a trial in life rather than a trial in court so this is false
fine let's get to the next question the examples emphasize that a shepherd is at the mercy of the elements so the elements here means that uh, bad weather it's again something more of a phrase than a literal i would say written piece so let's read the next paragraph and get to know what the examples are about in the black of night in the dead of the year at goblin time again something very metaphorical as in goblin time maybe evening they are referring to or something uh, that is more i would say on a scary side at goblin time he must be up and about by his lonesome um, with mist like a shroud again shroud something that pertains to the dead with mist like a shroud on him and frosty winds like the chill of death and snow whispering and a shriek on this side of the forest and a howl on that side so again something chilly shrieks are there howls are there howls you know when dogs uh, make that scary sound or maybe wolves uh, the shepherd must be waking uh, though the pleasant things of day are folded up and put by as in he may have saved uh, up some memories in his mind because they are put by and the comforting gabble and busyness of the house and the fold are still and the ghosts are strong thronging in on the east wind and on the north again with none to gain say them no one can go against them or deny their presence so when gideon was short with me when so when gideon was short with me i only took a bit more time in the attic it was pleasant there when spring drew on with a dish of primy roses on the table and a warm wind blowing in so now if you see it's more about that their conditions are dependent on the uh, weather as in if the weather is bad they are stuck somewhere if they are if spring is there they are happy and they have some memories to um, maybe live on they have some memories to uh, give them strength in the wrong weather conditions so their lives are dependent on um, their uh, atmospheric conditions their weather conditions and they are at the mercy of you know weather so so if you see the examples emphasize that a shepherd is at the mercy of the elements true and next then the next question is the writer had spent much time doing hard physical farm work let's see if that's the case when april came we were still blowing and i was so used to it that i had given over being tired and enjoyed it and sang to myself the while it was grand to do it was grand to go down the red furrow with the shear cutting strong into the stiff earth and shining like silver so if you see uh, the writer has said that uh, maybe i hope she it's it's a she let's let's take it she so she has spent so much time over there that she has gotten so used to it that she is not tired even if you see i was so used to it that i had given over being tired now getting used to something means that you have done it so much that you are not uh, you know uncomfortable with it so that means she has spent a lot of time doing that activity and that makes the fourth question true as it says the writer had spent much time doing hard physical farm work and it's all about farming here and the last question is the right okay i have taken this sheet from their official website and uh, so the questions are authentic and so is the passage it was fine to look away to the blue hills by lullingford and see the woods of oak and larch and willow all in bud in bud means that they are um, as in they have not grown 
or they are still you know in their primary stage as if a warm wind blew from there and called the leaves it was pleasant to seeing the rooks follow in a string at my heels uh, looking as if they have looking as if they had been polished and to see the birds again that had been away there were violets now to pull for market and tight pink birds like baby's little fish in the apple trees so now if you see there is some kind of fortitude there is some kind of uh, you know happiness but let's see the question the writer had always found the work enjoyable and easy and never changed her mind now if you see enjoyable is fine as in that seems to be the case but it it it, it is not said that uh, she always found it easy at certain points she has been shown to be facing some really grave issues so it's not easy every time may be enjoyable every time enjoyable at certain points for sure enjoyable every time may be the case but easy i do not think so so i would write false for this one fine and uh, in order to make you guys confident about what i'm teaching or sharing i'm going to show you my reading score So you can see here. I hope this video was useful. Share it with someone who needs it. Thank you.